This was the last we saw of Wagner boss Yevgeny Prigozhin, leaving the Russian city of Rostov-on-Don after telling his men to call off their march on Moscow and apparently heading for exile in Belarus. But the man who brokered that deal, Belarusian leader Alexander Lukashenko, told a select bunch of journalists today that Prigozhin was still in Russia, all criminal cases dropped, all possessions returned even as photos of the contents of his St. Petersburg home, gold bars, wigs and all, flooded the internet. If he is still in Russia, do you see there any possibility of a rapprochement between Prigozhin and the Kremlin, or do you see ties there fundamentally severed? Yesterday afternoon, I talked to him on the phone and we discussed what PMC Wagner was going to do. He told me one thing, we will work in the name of Russia for the benefit of Russia and we will be fulfilling our duty until the end in the way that it was agreed by certain organs of power. So he is free. What happens to him next? Well, things happen in life. But if you think that Putin is so malicious and vindictive and that he will, to say in plain Russian, whack him somewhere tomorrow, no. This will not happen. As for these satellite images of a military camp not far from Minsk, rumoured to be under construction for the mercenaries' use, Mr Lukashenko said he'd offered Wagner the facility and they'd said no. And there was still a lot to work out. The Kremlin today said it does not track Yevgeny Prigozhin's whereabouts, but it does seem extraordinary that a man that President Putin not two weeks ago branded a traitor should be free to come and go in Russia as he pleases and apparently not quite ready to take up Mr Lukashenko's largesse. To us, the Belarusian leader was remarkably affable. But three years after disputed elections and the wide-scale arrests which followed, his people were reluctant to give much away. I wondered how you feel about Wagner mercenaries coming to be based here. No comments, I'm sorry. Is that because of the political situation? I will not tell anything, I'm sorry. What about tactical nuclear weapons? Are you worried about those being in Belarus? I'm sorry, I will not leave it to comments. Listen, I don't know what to tell you. It's politics. What can we do? I don't want to touch upon this topic, I'm sorry. These are countries where people are jailed for a tweet, and yet the man who marched on Moscow walks free, and it's still not at all clear how and why he gets away with it. Dynamagne Sky News, Minsk, Belarus.